To access the reports page, head to the reports link in the main menu. While a little spartan on initial appearance, this page generates powerful reports via a CSV file emailed to your account email address. And we'll start with the affiliates report. This report produces a CSV file of all the members of your affiliate scheme, included in the file are their name, email address, and order stats. As with all reports, click the Generate Report button and we'll email you the CSV file. Next is the country specific tax report. This is powerful for those who sell to different countries where you may have a tax liability. Simply select the country from the drop down and then select the reporting period. You can either choose a quarterly reporting period or if you scroll down a specific month. Click generate report and if there are no reports for that specific country or period, a notice will be shown. Next are the discount codes, and this report includes details of all the codes generated for a specific discount. For example, you might have generated a few hundred single use codes, and you can download the individual codes themselves from here. Select the discount name from the drop down and then click Generate Reports. The report also shows how many times each code has been used. The next report is very useful for those who sell subscriptions, as it shows those that are in a dunning state. It shows your current subscription orders where the buyer has missed their latest payment and so the subscription is dunning. We include details of the subscriber and when the payment was originally due. Next is a summary of the EU VAT owed over a specific tax period. Simply select the currency and quarterly period. If there are no submissions for that period, we will add a note for the screen. The next report is the most commonly accessed and that's the orders report. There's quite a few filters here so you can get very detailed very quickly. For example, you can select a specific product, whether the product was referred by a specific affiliate, whether a specific discount was used and also filter by a date range. The next report helps understand the download rates of your products and it's the orders downloads report. Simply select a date range and we'll generate a report outlining the orders that have had at least one download. The file contains the order ID and the number of downloads for that order. Next is a products report and that generates the details of all your products, the price, the name, the purchase URLs and so on. If you use Sendow with Shopify, it also shows the Shopify variant ID to which the Sendow product is linked. The final report is for zero download orders and it's great for following up with customers who have not downloaded their files. Simply select the date range and we'll send a report outlining which orders have not had any downloads. And that's it. It's possible more reports will be added in the future, but they'll use the same format to generate the report. So choose from any filters and click Generate Report.